I have You've got, got such a fear, a haven't you? Fear of snakes, and and actually, I could be in the phone and it's unreasonable. I've never met a snake. A snake has never done anything wrong to me. But me and my gorgeous brother are exactly the same way. I can't look at them in pictures if they if they turn up in a film now. We've got some. We've got some snakes in the building, and and literally, my hands. I'm shaking. Look, I know the idea of it. I cannot bear it. It is. It is a genuine fear, but they're not just slivering around the streets. That's not the only worry. A woman in West London oh, woke God. up to a python in her bed, and Stuart Saunders found this in his shower. Oh my I, God! I have got no idea how this is happening, but he's going to be joining us now, live from the scene in Exeter. Good morning, Stuart. Oh, good, mor good morning. Um, hi, Stuart. I, I, I was yeah yeah hi. I was, I was in the I was in my flat. I've got a reclining chair. You, you, and so I start again. I, I've got a reclining chair, and I was laying in that, listening to some music. And all at once, I heard two crashes in the bathroom. So about five minutes out, I thought things that might might have blown over in the wind. And uh, about five minutes after, I went to pick, to pick them all up. And I found this uh, carpety thing. And I think, on the bathroom I think it is floor. important to say as well, you, you, you are blind as well. I know that's your care and Natasha with you as well. Uh, yeah, I am, I am blind. Sorry. Yeah, I, I am right. blind. I am blind. I was blind since birth. Well, it was like a, like a carpety sort of thing on the floor. I thought some insulation had come adrift or something. Mm. So I picked all the bottles up that, that, that had fallen. Uh, and I went a few paces, I went a few steps forward to try and pick this thing up. Couldn't, too heavy. It was too heavy to, to, to lift. Oh my, this so is I my rang, worst I rang the office, I'm in supported living, you see. Mm. I rang the office, you see, and I said to, the staff member, can you pop over? I think I've got a mess in my bathroom. So Jason, one of my support workers, came over, walked to the bathroom, took one short glance down and said, you've got a snake in your bathroom. I can't believe I said, it. A snake? Believe that, it. that is I said, just... I said, I said, I... Stuart, we're actually looking at the photo now of the snake that was found in your bathroom. It is, I, I cannot believe how big this, this is. And, and, and does anyone know how it managed to even get in there in the first place, Stuart? Oh, goodness knows I don't. Well, they, I've heard it came out through the, through the loo, oh, through so, the toilet. So... So we're hearing about this, Stuart. Well, you, you must have been terrified. <clears throat> um, Stuart, I've got a terrible phobia of snakes. I think I probably would have fainted there and then. Um, but, but, but what was going through your head as soon as, you, as, soon as the guy told you? Would. you? So what went through your head when the guy told you there was a snake in your bathroom? I thought, how the blooming heck did it get in there? <laughs> 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 and Natasha, you were one of the first people, obviously, to, to assist Stuart as well, along with one of your colleagues. I mean, what, what went through your mind when you thought your colleague was joking at first, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, I went into the lounge and then they said it's a snake and I was like, no, it's not. Like, I didn't believe them and then I took one look and I just screamed and I ran out. <laughs> and what yeah. happened? What, how did you get rid of it? Did you, did you call the police? What, what did you do? Oh. Well... Yeah, I got Stuart down to the office and had a coffee, like we do in Britain, usually have a cup of tea, but yeah. we had a coffee. A cup of tea, I'd have and a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> <laughs> That's um, funny. That's funny. <laughs> and then Jason rang the RSPCA and, well, they weren't very much use. I, I don't think anybody really believed us, because then they right. said to ring the police. So he rang the police, and I think they thought that he was drunk. drunk. Yeah, right. or like we were having a laugh. Well, I think I think oh. Doc would need to be to deal with that. To be perfectly honest, I think um, it frightens them. We're gonna guys, we're gonna have to move on. Stuart, thank you so much for thank sharing you your story. Thank you very much. You're very brave. Yeah, Natasha, thanks for speaking to us as well. Good luck with everything. Um, we're gonna be speaking to a snake expert now, but you I, okay, you can't so, deal with this. So you? this is this is awful, and I've never ever done this before at work. But I I'm I'm gonna have to leave the studio because there are real snakes in the studio with an amazing snake handler. But my fear is so bad, I can't be in here. So much I know so, you're that fearful.
but can you leave in a real Jeremy Kyle backstage style for me? <laughs> I'm going. Where Graham going. will be waiting. Listen, no one convinced that hard. OK. I'm off. off you go. I'm going. Off you go. Going. Um, while he oh. is doing a little walkout, uh, we're going to go over to a bit of a safe space. And I want to bring in snake expert Trevor Smith. Trevor, come on in, but please don't come too close no, to me no, no, with no. that. Um, OK, Trevor, it's lovely to meet you. I'm not going to no, shake your hand. No. Um, why? I mean, you've brought a selection of snakes in with you. What, yeah. What's that one, first of all? This is a boa constrictor. Okay. Hence in the news item, you know, feeding on a, uh, on a pigeon. On yeah, the so one. this is this exact... Not this the is not the exact, but same, same species, breed of yeah, snake same breed, that, yeah. that's done that. Why, why are we finding these snakes on street? Because it's so hot, and the weather's been extremely hot, Lots of them are English snakes just coming out because it's so warm, because they're cold-blooded and they, they love the so heat. So this is because of the heat as well? Yeah, it's the heat, yeah. But where, where does a boa constrictor come from? Is this someone... Well, originally pets? from South America, yeah, they're pets that escape. 